hello everybody and here we are at exercise eight now and this is all about how we start to recycle grades uh reused uh, elements of our timeline and how we look at grouping and other sort of more advanced uh, timeline uh controls so the first thing we're going to do is create a new uh timeline and let's um actually load up back from exercise three let's load up the uh quick start XML one more time. And we'll call this one the session name we will call recycling grades. There we go, cool. And let's uh, come back and start to color this up. Now you'll notice that even though we have imported this as a brand new grade or as a brand new timeline, it's still referring back to the master edits that we've made previously. For example, on yeah any of the secondaries one here, which in turn also looks at the secondary as the, uh, the quick start one here as well. In essence, they're all sort of referring back to a master version that we've done on the master timeline. This had some tremendous advantages for us um, because it means that we can you know do all of our grading across a whole program then if any changes have to be made so you know just a few uh, frames here and there or a couple of odd shots being placed in after the grades being done then we can come in and load up a, a new xml file or edl file from here and if it's referring back to the same uh, media here it's going to take on that same grade without us having do it, to do anything. Um, so this has a tremendous amount of advantages for us. But let's say that we don't want that. Let's go back to my recycling grades one here and then come back into our color. So if we want to create a uh, another grade that's not connected to this master session, then we can use different versions here. Uh, and we have both local versions and remote versions. Now, the difference between these two versions are uh, really where they fit in with the, the other sessions. So for example, a uh, local version here is only going to be available within this session. So within this uh, uh, recycling grade session here. If on the other hand, I chose a uh, remote version here and created a new version on this one, this is going to be available to me on all of the sessions, not just the one that I'm working on. So if I create a new version up here, I get to give it a name. I will call this one, um, call this one more saturation. And I can choose to copy all the marks or just the first mark only. So if I've you know, made up a whole load of keyframes, I don't have to uh, go in and, and change all of those up again. Now you can see on the um, thumbnail of the timeline here, we've got a more saturation label here. So uh, if I come back to my version one, I've got my version one version here. So I can load that one up now, make all the changes that I need to. Let's just get rid of all of this stuff here and just push this green so we can really see what's going on. And now I can switch between my versions. Oops, not rename. Come in and load that back up. Load that one back up as well. And now if I come to my other session, come over here, I still have that remote version available to me here. Whereas if I come in and do a new local version here, so create new version, I will call this one local more saturation. Do the same thing, get rid of all of the other elements and just push the highlights. Oh, that's horrible. There we go. So we're not gonna we're not gonna be able to miss that one. We can choose that locally, but if I come into my recycling grades now, 